Woo! March has ended, April is here, and so it's finally time for the Kari monthly painting journey. Well, I guess it's finally time because maybe some of you would like to see the miniatures that I painted, but maybe you don't care nothing about it. <laughs> well, if you care, thank you very much for being here. So, what did I paint this month? Boy, oh boy. I painted so many miniatures because I really wanted to get through a project that I had in my mind and it was a work in progress for a lot of time. But let's start with the protagonist of one of my recent video, which is Yarek, specifically the second edition Commissar Yarek. Man, how 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 beautiful is this model? I cannot say how much I love this model. I always have a sweet little spot for old, out of print, very 80, 90s, old style, vintage. I don't know how many words I have to say today. I love this model. I love this model so much. And it was amazing, amazing to paint it. I really had a lot of fun because, well, the, the model from that period of time those models have a lot of colors in them. Even though this is a Commissar, which technically doesn't have a lot of color, there is a lot of black and red generally when you paint a Commissar, if you want to go with a classic paint scheme. But with Yarik, that giant power claw with yellow, orange and red. Boy, it's beautiful. I was very scared about obtaining this kind of effect when painting Yarek and its power claw because, well, I am not very good in wet blending specifically when I have to wet blend this huge, huge surface, but thankfully I have an airbrush and I have managed to create a nice, uh, nice uh, transition between red, orange and yellow. I may have put a little bit too much yellow on his power claw because I was trying to recreate the color scheme of the second edition Yarek. And I think I managed to do that, but the power claw is a little bit too yellow uh, instead of, well, th there isn't so much yellow, it's more red, there is then a little bit of orange and just a point of yellow on the very top part of the power claw. But I think I managed to nail that paint scheme and also the flag. Now, believe me, I really tried to convince myself to freehand the flag. I was really into it, I was trying to find a way to freehand it in a realistic way that was kind of the same flag of that period of time, but then I surrender because I wanted to finish these miniatures and so I decided to take a JPEG image on the internet, work it a little bit with Photoshop and Illustrator and I have printed that flag and I then uh, glue it onto the miniatures because I guess that, that miniatures wouldn't be very complete without that flag also because that flag is so iconic. I see that flag almost everywhere when speaking about Yarek and it's a little bit strange that the new model doesn't have a pole, a flagpole behind his back to put a flag such as this on the new model. I don't know, maybe they have done this because this way it's more simpler. It's simpler to paint, I think, but anyway, this is my new Commissar Yarek. Uh, I, I have the new model, but every time I have to play with him, I will use this second edition model because I think it's amazing, amazing. Uh, maybe some of you wouldn't agree, maybe some of you would prefer the new modern Commissar Yarek, but sorry, I really am into vintage miniatures, I love them. And now the work in progress project that I had on my hobby table for so, so much time, which is my Blood Bowl team, because with this now I'm getting into Blood Bowl, finally. I had some of my friends that were telling me to get into Blood Bowl because Blood Bowl is a very great and funny game. It is incredibly cool and funny to play. The miniatures are great. There are so many teams. You can do a lot of different stuff. There are so many companies that create miniatures specifically for Blood Bowl. And I would really love to get into Blood Bowl, but I, I don't know. I am that kind of person that really want to get into Blood Bowl, but never actually start. Well, 
Now I have started. I have painted my Blood Bowl team, which is the old Ward Alliance team. Reason is that, I don't know, I thought that this was a great team because there is a little bit of everything of the old world in it. There are humans, dwarves and halflings. Now what can I say about this kit, this Blood Bowl team, uh, besides being an out of print? You cannot really buy it anymore. I bought it back at a time and I really get into it. Uh, well, it's a nice, cool kit. It's a very cool Blood Bowl team in my opinion, because again, there is a little bit of everything, like human dwarves and halflings. The only thing is that that for some details the sculpts are not very great. I had a little bit of a hard time painting some spots of these miniatures, maybe also because I've decided to use a bone white color, which is not ideal to paint, especially when you have to paint like uh, clothes. I don't know, I find it pretty difficult to paint white, whiter kind of surface when they are clothes, where are white clothes, white capes, I don't really like to paint them. So it wasn't really easy, but I managed to create a paint skin that I'm happy with. Um, the red parts that you see on these models were initially intended to be green, but uh, I don't know, In I, 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 I thought that green and purple weren't really great together for this Blood Bowl team. I wasn't really convinced and so I decided to switch and go with red. And purple and red, I think it's a very great combination, I really like this combination of the color and I am really happy with it. My favorite miniatures of this Blood Bowl team, of course, is the Dwarf Troll Slayer because, I don't know, I really love the pose, is like in it launching forward is like being propelled by his beard because the, the miniatures is sustained by his beard that it's touching the ground i don't know it's a great model i love this model funny thing after i have finished painting this little blood ball team i sent a picture of my new freshly painted team to my friends and all of them told me oh the old world alliance that is the worst team possible to get started with blood ball Yay, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, everybody told me that they are not very... They, they, they don't really perform well when playing, they are very, very weak in the game. The only great point for them is that they can take an ogre in the team, so I think that I'm going to paint an ogre after this video because I also have an ogre for Blood Bowl team so I decided to paint that as well so that maybe my team will perform very well keep in mind that I don't know anything about Blood Bowl I just know that it is football but played in a fantasy world so cool I think and now the last model that I have painted this month, actually I uh, finished to paint it just the last day of March, which is a armored car in a 20mm scale from the Second World War, a Polish, a Poland armored car. And the model is called WZ34 Polski Samochod Pancerny. I, I, I guess this is the way to pronounce it. I, I don't know, it, it's Polish, the, it's, it's a, a company from Poland, which is called Verzesian, Ver, Verzesian, Ver, Verzesian, I, I don't know, I'm butchering the Polish language at the moment. If you speak Polish, let me know down in the comment, how do I pronounce something like this? Because I am very curious right now, maybe I'm going to use Google Translate after I have recorded this video, but let me know down in the comment anyway. Now, you may see that this armored car is not actually historically accurate because I have converted a little bit so that I can use it for Gasland. Now, the way that I have converted this car is really simple. I have just used the point of a last rifle from the Astro Militarum and I glue it instead of the machine gun on top of the, of the turret of the armored car. Then I have put some toothpick around the car to simulate like metal spikes here and there. I really heavy weathered this car and it was a little bit painful to weather down this car because I free-handed some flames on the red 
air ventilation part on the uh, top of the front, uh, in, in the, the, the top part of the car in the front. And I don't know you, but when I cover some free-handed part of my model with weathering and stuff like that, I get a little bit sad because I spend some time to, in order to make it look good. But this way, the car looks more realistic, more post-apocalyptic in some kind of a way. But I guess it's post-apocalyptic. I mean, I, I wouldn't imagine any other setting in which this car can be put in. And uh, well, it was a little fun and quick project that I had roaming around here in my hobby place and I just went into it and I painted like in a day and I am happy with it, I can wait to use it on my Gasland uh, games. Maybe some of you that are more for a realistic kind of paint scheme with this model are not going to be very happy, but I think that since I had fun and I am happy with the result, I think that that thing is going good for me. So my friends, thank you very much. Let me know down in the comment what you think about all the models and the miniatures that I have painted this month. I am really curious to have your opinions and maybe your suggestions. And I am sorry if I look a little bit tired because I am literally recording this video during the 2nd of April and I have just discovered that the squats are coming back to Warhammer 40k and I have just spent the day screaming out of my lungs in pure joy because I thought that that was a very not kind April Fool's joke but no the squats are actually returning and I can be happier <laughs> I don't even know how to speak right now thinking about something like this I have some old squats model here I have painted some of them but I also have some squats to paint and now I have an excuse to paint them now that I are now that they are coming back uh, in the end of the 2022 I can't wait to have them I can't wait to paint it but anyway uh, thank you very much for staying with me in this video. Let me know what you think down in the comment again. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Down in the description you will find the link for my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram I would be very happy. And also you will find the link for my coffee. So if you want to donate a dollar, you don't really have to. Keep it for yourself if you really need it. But if you really want to burn a dollar, you can give that to me. All right, now that I have finished recording this video, excuse me, but I have some Eldars to paint because now Eldars have returned to Warhammer 40k and I can be more happy now I'm going through this huge pile of shame that are only Eldars or Eldari, Craftward, Yanari. I'm just going to call them Eldar, I'm sorry. As I said at the beginning of this video, I like vintage stuff. So thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.